केंद्रीय नागर विमानन मंत्री ने दिल्ली में राजीव गांधी भवन सफदरजंगा हवाई अड्डे पर 18 सितंबर 2023 को उड़ान भवन का उद्घाटन किया श्री ज्योतिरादित्य एम सिंधिया ने ई वॉलेट भुगतान विकल्प सुविधा का भी शुभारंभ किया बेहतर समन्वय के लिए सभी विमानन नियामक प्राधिकरणों को एक ही छत के नीचे लाने तथा नागर विमानन मंत्रालय एम के निकट एक कार्यालय की लंबे समय से आवश्यकता महसूस की जा रही थी इस महत्वपूर्ण आवश्यकता को आज दिल्ली के सफदरजंग हवाई अड्डे पर एकीकृत कार्यालय परिसर उड़ान भवन के उद्घाटन के साथ पूरा कर लिया गया इस भवन का उद्घाटन केंद्रीय नागर विमानन तथा इस्पात मंत्री श्री ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया एम सिंधिया ने केंद्रीय सड़क परिवहन एवं राजमार्ग तथा नागर विमानन राज्य मंत्री जनरल डॉक्टर विजय कुमार सिंह सेवानिवृत्त और नागर विमानन मंत्रालय में सचिव श्री बुमलुंग मंग और वो अलम वो अल नाम की गरिमाई उपस्थिति में किया नागर विमानन महानिदेशालय डी जी सी ए नागर विमानन सुरक्षा ब्यूरो बी सी ए एस विमानन दुर्घटना जाँच ब्यूरो ए ए आई बी और विमान पतन आर्थिक विनिमय प्राधिकरण ए ई आर ए नियामक प्राधिकरण होने के नाते नागर विमानन के क्षेत्र में मानकों के अनुसार नियमों एवं विनियमों के निर्माण कार्यान्वयन में महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका निभाते हैं भारतीय विमान पतन प्राधिकरण ए ए आई देश भर में विभिन्न हवाई अड्डों पर निर्माण संचालन ए टी सी एवं सी एन एस सेवाएं प्रदान करने तथा रख रखाव के लिए जिम्मेदार प्रमुख हवाई अड्डा ऑपरेटर है नई दिल्ली के सदरजंग हवाई अड्डे पर एक नए एकीकृत कार्यालय परिसर उड़ान भवन का निर्माण किया गया है जो नागर विमान मंत्रालय के तहत विभिन्न नियामक प्राधिकरणों के बीच बेहतर समन्वय की सुविधा प्रदान करेगा इस अवसर पर प्रायोगिक ई वॉलेट सुविधा का भी शुभारंभ किया गया ई वॉलेट भारत कोष पोर्टल में विभिन्न नियामक अनुमोदनों के लिए शुल्क की प्रोसेसिंग में विशेष रूप से उपयोगी होगा और ये एक ऐसे प्रीपेड वॉलेट के रूप में कार्य करेगा करेगा जो पंजीकृत उपयोगकर्ता के अग्रिम रूप से धनराशि का समन्वेश करने में सक्षम बनाएगा प्रारंभ में धनराशि का समन्वेश के लिए केवल एन या आर मोड की अनु, अनुमति होगी उपयोगकर्ता तुरंत रसीद और चलान भी पा सकेंगे इस अवसर पर केंद्रीय नागर विमानन तथा इस्पात मंत्री श्री ज्योतिरादित्य सिंधिया ने कहा आज एक ऐतिहासिक दिन है क्योंकि हम न केवल उड़ान भवन का उद्घाटन कर रहे हैं बल्कि भारत कोष पोर्टल का भी उद्घाटन कर रहे हैं जो एक प्रीपेड वॉलेट के रूप में कार्य करेगा ये पोर्टल हमारे नागर विमान विमानन मंत्रालय के माध्यम से अपेक्षाकृत तेज तत्पर और अधिक सुरक्षित भुगतान प्रणाली को संभव बनाएगा उन्होंने कहा कामकाज का एक स्थित वातावरण अपने साथ बहुत सारी सकारात्मक लाता है उत्पादकता बढ़ाता है और आराम में वृद्धि करता है और ये कार्यस्थल का वातावरण ही है जो वास्तव में विचारों को ठोस कार्यवाही में परिणत करता है सरकार एक अधिक सक्रिय समस्याओं का निवारण करने वाली एवं परिवर्तन का वाहक बन गई है जो आकांक्षी भारत को दुनिया के विकास का वाहक बनाने के लिए परिवर्तित कर रही है केंद्रीय मंत्री ने यह भी कहा कि नया भवन प्रधानमंत्री के संकल्प से सिद्धि के आहन का प्रतीक है यह न केवल पर्यावरण एवं स्थिरता की दृष्टि से इक्कीसवीं सदी के मानकों को पूरा करता है बल्कि इसमें खुलापन एवं सभी आवश्यकताओं को पूरा करने वाली सभी सुविधाएं भी उपलब्ध है इस उद्घाटन के अवसर पर केंद्रीय सड़क परिवहन एवं राजमार्ग तथा नागर विमान राज्य मंत्री डॉक्टर वी के सिंह सेवानिवृत्त ने कहा भारत कोष पोर्टल और उड़ान भवन का उद्घाटन एक ऐतिहासिक कदम है नागर विम, नागर विमानन मंत्रालय में सचिव श्री वुमलुन मंग वु अल नाम ने कहा उड़ान भवन सभी उस संगठनों को एक ही छत के नीचे एक साथ साथ काम करना संभव बनाएगा और इससे बेहतर समन्वय स्थापित होगा नए एकीकृत कार्यालय परिसर में जमीन के ऊपर जी प्लस थ्री तल निर्मित है और तेज तीन शेष तीन तल बेसमेंट के रूप में है और इसमें 1270 अधिकारियों का समावेश हो सकता है इस भवन का कुल निर्मित क्षेत्रफल इकहत्तर वर्ग मीटर है और ये परियोजना कुल तीन करोड़ रुपए की लागत से पूरी हुई है जी आर आई एच ए फाइव रेटेड इस भवन में पर्यावरण के अनुकूल स्थायित्व से जुड़ी कई विशेषताओं का समावेश है इस भवन को यथासंभव अधिक तक अधिकतम सीमा तक दिन के उजाले के उपयोग की दृष्टि में डिजाइन किया गया है 
इस भवन की पर्यावरण के अनुकूल विशेषताओं में गर्मी को कम करने के लिए कुशल एलईडी फिक्सर चमकदार पर्दा दीवार असेंबली और डबल स्किन फसाट सिस्टम का उपयोग अपशिष्ट जल का पुनर्चक्रण का प्रबंध शामिल है उड़ान भवन आधुनिक सम्मेलन कक्ष एवी सिस्टम आईटी से संबंधित बुनियादी ढांचे पार्किंग प्रबंधन प्रणाली योग कक्ष क्रेच सुविधा ईवी चार्जिंग आदि से सुसज्जित है Respected members of the press and media, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the inauguration of the Udang Bhavan Office Complex for Director General of Civil Aviation (DGCA), Bureau of Civil Aviation Security (BCAS), Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau (AIB), Airport Economic Regulatory Authority of India, and Airport Authority of India, and the pilot launch of Bharat Coach. Advanced Deposit E-Wallet for Ministry of Civil Aviation. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are indeed honoured that this mega event is raised by the Honourable Minister. I now request Sri Zulfika Kassanji, Director General, Bureau of Civil Aviation Security, to kindly do the honours of welcoming and honouring Sri Zulfika Kassanji. Ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed honoured, honourable minister, to spare this valuable time and raise this occasion. A very warm welcome to you. Thank you, sir, for doing the honour. I now request Sri Sanjeev Kumar, Chairman AI, to welcome and honour honourable minister of State and Civil Aviation, General Vijay Singh. Especially 
with a new building where all our various organizations would be housed together. I am confident and hopeful that we lead to better coordination, better working together as we lead the very important civil aviation sector of our country forward. And on the e wallet, it is really a happy occasion where we have taken a step and feel towards ease of doing business so that our various agencies can fulfill their regulatory requirements, submitting the fees in a streamlined way as compared to the bottleneck that they are facing today. So I again warmly welcome the distinguished officers and Honorable Minister Civil Aviation, Honorable Minister of State Civil Aviation, and all the official functionaries from the branch of Civil Aviation, a very warm welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Sir, for the warm welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the job privilege in requesting Honorable Minister of State of Civil Aviation, and BKP, ABS, and ABS and Biotech to kindly share this call from today's inauguration with the August 12th presenter. Let's put our hands together for that. Our very dynamic Minister of Aviation, Shri Jyotirada Sindhari, under whose uh, leadership we have made uh, very significant progress where the aviation sector is concerned and it is continuing five thirds in his directions and no effort. Our uh, secretary who has just taken over, all our other uh, officers and all those who man various uh, crucial departments. Today is a great day for uh, having two things. One is of course we are uh, unveiling the plot of our Quran Bhavan, a new building which will house uh, all the people who are outside. Maybe some will feel that uh, some will feel that their independence will be gone. But uh, it is a beautiful building and it is a building where I think you all would like to go and uh, like to see it. Uh, we also are uh, launching our uh, Bharat Kosh Advanced Deposit e uh, uh, Facility for Civil Aviation. Uh, another uh, required need where uh, the transactions are concerned. Uh, at a time when the aviation sector is going pretty well, the passenger numbers are saying that, there is also a challenge where uh, some of the airlines are concerned and they are experiencing the problem. Now these two have to be matched if we want the type of progress that we are looking at. And I think there is a great amount of work that is uh, there for all of us to ensure that both these improve side by side so that the aviation sector can really serve. With these words, I congratulate all those who have been involved in both these things. Thank you very much. Jai. This is Peter, aligning with AI's environment friendly stuff and will serve the long felt need of an office for all the aviation regulatory authorities under one roof for better coordination. And I now have the privilege of requesting the Honorable Minister of Civil Aviation to kindly do the honors of unveiling the car of the Ran Bhavan by clicking on the remote.
to the web page portal. It thus diminishes the e-governance commitment of the government to provide the e-efficient, e-effective and e-excellent government anywhere, anytime. And today on this occasion, the Honorable Minister will launch the Bharat Coast Advanced Deposit e Wallet Facility for the Ministry of Civil Aviation. And may I request you, sir, to kindly do the honours by clicking on the remote. Yes. Thank you very much, Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the privilege in requesting the Honourable Minister of Civil Aviation to kindly share his inspiring address and motivate all of us. Let's put the hands together to impress our Honourable Minister. Seated on the dais with me, my colleague, respected General V.K. Singh Sahib, our new secretary who has made himself very much at home with such ease. Secretary of Civil Aviation, Walnan Saif, members of my Civil Aviation team, or more importantly, if I may say, my family members present here today. Let me take this opportunity as one amongst all of you to welcome us all to our new home in Udan Bhavan. Our office, ladies and gentlemen, and our working environment must become in life for us a home away from home. And that in essence is the environment that we must strive to create in our working environments as we traverse through our lives. A healthy working environment brings with it a lot of positivity, increases productivity, increases comfort levels. And it is the atmosphere of a workspace that truly translates ideation and thought into concrete action. And this is evinced no better than in the words of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, when he repeatedly says, Sankalp se siddhi tak. We have evolved a long way in India in the way government functions today. Government has become much more proactive. Government has become a problem solver. Government has become an agent that addresses need gaps on a sectoral basis. And government has become the change agent that is transforming an aspiration of India into the world's no longer India's or the, con or the Asian subcontinents but the world's growth engine. And if that is the output every process 
success of every process is determined by the value addition during that process. And success, if that is what it is today, is defined by the value addition that you bring to that process. So on this day, I would like to take the opportunity to also thank each and every one of my family members for your industry, your determination, your grit, your fortitude, and most importantly, your integrity. Today is a landmark day for us in our sector of civil aviation because on one day, we are not only inaugurating our Uran Bhavan, which will be the portal through which we will herald the success of civil aviation in the days to come. We have been through a very, very turbulent time over the last four to five years, where we have seen great crests and great trucks, and once again, many crests again. And the way that we have been able to navigate it is because we have stood together as a team. The oft-repeated phrase of all for one and one for all, I'm proud to say, is emblazoned in every member of my civil aviation fraternity's heart. And therefore, as we stand here today, unveiling Puran Bhavan, along with that unveiling, we're also unveiling our advanced deposit e-wallet payment system, Bharat Sush, that will enable faster, quicker, more secure payment systems through our civil aviation ministry system. And whilst we do that, we're also unveiling the two new aircrafts that have been bought by the Air Force Authority of India to be able to charter the ground navigation aid systems across multiple airports, the calibration of those, and for those who are untraversed in the civil aviation lexicon, that truly means ensuring that our ILS systems at every single airport are operating in the manner that they should. This Quran Bhavan brings with it openness, brings, brings with it a new light, brings with it 21st century standards, environmental and others. It has the highest Griya rating, it has all amenities and even areas to take care of our fraternities needs in terms of yoga chambers and crèches for our lady co-workers to make sure that it's a familial sitting in which they conduct their work throughout the day. This, ladies and gentlemen, is truly a landmark day for civil aviation. And I would like to congratulate all of you. There is one suggestion that I would like to make. Within this building, we must keep an area that preserves our heritage and our history. For those who have walked this mile way before us, for those who have traversed it during our tenure, and for those who will walk this path in the days to come. We must make it a living monument a living office. And with that note, I would like to congratulate all of you and welcome all of you to take the Uran along with all of us. Thank you very much for having me and congratulations. Lord Transport and Hanging, Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, respected Secretary of Civil Relations, Sri Ramdan Sahib, Head of all traditions under the ministry, 
police from the ministry and the organization, representatives from the airlines, friends from media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Ministry of Civil Aviation, I stand here today with a heart full of gratitude as we are in, on the inauguration of our new office complex, Uran Bhavan. This remarkable achievement has been made possible through the collective efforts and dedication of many individuals and organizations. First and foremost, we would like to extend our heart and gratitude to our Honorable Minister of Civil Aviation for his guidance and providing us through constant guidance and timelines for the completion of this building which are the, which has been inaugurated today. We would also like to express our gratitude to our Honorable Minister of the State for Civil Aviation for his encouragement, support and giving his valuable time to grace this occasion. Our sincere thanks goes to our Secretary Ms. Bhavadanta for his guidance and support in the inauguration of building as well as the launch of the pilot project on e-wallet facility for the stakeholders under the civil division. We also extend our appreciation and thanks to Chairman here for the Party of India and his team for this unwavering commitment and time, timeless work in going through the vision, converting this vision into the reality. Their professionalism and attitude to detail has brought this magnificent structure to life. Our sincere thanks also goes to the heads of AI, BCAS, BGCA, AIB, and AI, and their team and their nodal officers, whose capital infusion and coordinated efforts has led timely completion of this integrated office complex. We are also thankful to the local authorities, regulatory bodies and government agencies for their support and cooperation throughout the permitting of the construction process. We are also thankful to our finance division including JSLFA and CFA, CFC for bringing innovation in the payment process through e-wallet and providing ease of doing business for our stakeholders. Our sincere thanks goes to the friends from media who have extended their support and coverage in dissemination of the information of the government initiatives. Last but not the least, I want to acknowledge our officers and stakeholders in working and making this event successful. In closing, I thank you once again to all who have contributed and who have raised this occasion. Let us embrace this new place with enthusiasm and with shared sense of purpose. Thank you and have a wonderful day. एक नई सुबह की शुभ शुरुआत की जा रही है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में ये नौ वर्ष नागर विमान क्षेत्र के लिए ऐतिहासिक रहे अंतिम चोर के अंतिम व्यक्ति तक हवाई सेवा पहुंचाना हमारा संकल्प है और उसी सोच विचारधारा के आधार पर हमारे नागर विमान क्षेत्र की सभी संस्थाओं को एक ही छत के पीछे सभी को रेखांकित करना ये हमारा संकल्प एवं दृढ़ इच्छा शक्ति थी आज इस उड़ान भवन एयरपोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया एक्सीडेंट ब्यूरो ऑफ इंडिया एयरपोर्ट्स रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया डी और बी सभी अंग भारत सरकार के नागर विमान क्षेत्र के एक ही घर में स्थापित होने जा रहे हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि इस कदम के साथ आने वाले दिनों में भारत में नागर विमानन क्षेत्र नई ऊंचाइयों तक छूने में पूर्ण रूप से सफल हो
the governmental infrastructure to ensure that we are able to service the needs of our sector. Quran Bhavan will herald in a new era of collaboration, productive working together, and a new impetus and a new trust in our sector from a service oriented view. All the five agencies of our civil aviation department, whether it is DGCA, whether it is BCAT, whether it is AIB, whether it is ERA, whether it is Air Force Authority of India, all for the first time in our history we come together under one roof. And therefore, a coming together of sorts of all the agencies that will spur the growth of aviation in the days to come. Quran Bhavan set the stage for the takeoff of civil aviation in our country. And we commit that we will try and scale new heights for our sector, for our customers, and mostly, most importantly, for the people. So you have suggested for a digital heritage platform over here in the new building. Uh, what sort of suggestion is this and what are you looking at? Sir? It is very important for any institution to recognize and treasure its past, to live in its current and to aspire for its future. All three elements must be espoused in our institutional memory in this building. And it will be our resolve and our effort to make sure that this is a living building as well, hmm. in addition to it being a facilitated building. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. एक बार फिर आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है कि आप अपने इस यूट्यूब चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें लाइक एंड शेयर जरूर करें शुक्रिया